welcome everyone to this special webinar. Uh, it's presented by Exchange for Media um, in association with Media Mantra called Reboot Mantra. Uh, if you see, we are all going through, um, I'm sorry. If you see, we are all going through very tough times. Uh, uh, we need a mantra to come back to get the business back. So this is a special webinar, as I said, presented by Exchange for Media in association with Media Mantra. And we will be talking about ways in which uh, our businesses can come back to normal, you know, how communication would become the greatest enabler of this comeback. So before I uh, go further, I would like to introduce my esteemed panelists. Uh, I have with me uh, Diksha Dev, founder and CEO uh, uh, in CubeSense. I have uh, Vikas Anand, the partner Flip Spaces. Uh, San, ba San Banerjee CEO Adda, Nitin Goel, uh, Vice President Strategy and Delivery Excellence Branch, uh, Paras Arora, Founder and CEO QDesk, and Mr. Udrit Patek, Director Media Mantra. Welcome all of you uh, to this uh, session, uh, which is presented by Exchange for Media and uh, Media Mantra. So my first question to all of you is that uh, while we uh, have why, uh, why un we, while unlock one is unlock in, one is in I can see my uh, I can see my uh, voice echoing anyway uh, and we are all trying to resume businesses in this kind of a setup uh, how important uh, role would communication play in building that confidence that new narrative of trust among the stakeholders. So I want to start with you, uh, Vikash, you know, if you could tell me, how do we build, how can communication play a role? In this? So uh, thanks, thanks, Ro Roel. First of all, uh, uh, privileged to be here. And you know, this is a very good question. We have been thinking about it. We have been experienced, we, we have been uh, seeing a lot of things, a lot of news coming in each and every day. Uh, so communication plays a very, very important role. You know, uh, this is the time when everybody is thinking that what is going to happen in next one month, two months, six months down the line, 12 months down the line. And uh, of course, there is a lot, there's a lack of clarity in most of the things. So communication, uh, frequent communication from each and everyone from key stakeholders will definitely play a very, very important role in whatever is coming up. Nitin, if I have to ask you the same question, how important is communication for the reboot strategy? For this mantra that everybody is looking for, you know, into coming, coming back into business. So I think uh, uh, my mantra has really played a very uh, pivotal role in sustaining the uh, pipeline of communication, which we never broke uh, during this tough time. And eventually, uh, when the entire world was locked down, we never were locked down. Right. And in fact, Mantra really helped us to reach out uh, to our clients to give that confidence that we are holding on you. We right. are holding on our, our forte and just stay with us. Uh, there is a more value which is to be delivered together in the future. And since my branch has already been working in the last couple of years along with Mantra to create right. that positioning uh, that we are there to, uh, to really work on tier 2 and tier 3 cities where the India, the heart of India and her culture mostly lives. And my branch is committed to preserve the dreams seen by these many hearts in tier 2 and tier 3 cities by ensuring that they work fearlessly in good comfort and produce value at their workplace. So we already had that uh, COVID compliant private office spaces uh, at our locations. Mantra helped us to reposition ourselves that we will sustain the business in the long run. It's like keeping the nerves and the arteries functioning so that they can pump the blood back to the heart, which is the headquarter or the head offices of these corporates. Right, right. We were very much in the game and thank you Mantra for keeping us alive in this game. Thank you. Uh, San, I want to come to you uh, with the same question. Uh, how do you see communication as an enabler in this uh, comeback of businesses? 
in the reboot that we're talking about. Sorry. Thanks, Rohel. So uh, in our case, uh, PR has been a very important part of our limited marketing budget. I think every uh, company has been has had to relook at their marketing budgets during these times. Mm -hmm. And we took a conscious decision that PR is something that we do not want to disturb because uh, when this whole thing started, we realized that our segment was undergoing a lot of changes like everybody else's. And when that happens, uh, the companies who continue to survive and grow need to keep reinventing themselves. They need to figure out innovative ways, different ways of running business, reaching out different targets that they may not have reached earlier and offering different products and services. When you do that uh, and you want quick visibility into what you're doing, PR is one of the best ways of taking that message around. And it has been very successful for us because the initial days and what Adda is, it is a platform for apartment residents. So, uh, you know, the entire population moved to homes. So that's apartments. So a lot of services like, you know, people were looking for groceries, medicine delivery, etc., which was completely disrupted. And right. on Adda, we could help them connect with vendors who would do those kind of deliveries, right? Uh, very new kind of vendors who were not there early. It's not the usual Amazons and big baskets, right? So during that time, we got a lot of uh, outreach done thanks to Media Mantra, a lot of publications that we could get for all these new services that we were bringing in place. And as the whole situation evolves also, I see a very important role that our PR partner is going to play along with us. Right. For us, uh, uh, same question to you, apart from, uh, you know, the other strategy that you have in place uh, about marketing and other long-term vision. Uh, tell me the role of communication in making this possible. What are your views on that? <laughs> That's actually a good question and a good start to the uh, webinar. I think it is the most important uh, aspect at the moment because you know we all need to understand that this pandemic is, a lot of people call it as a novel coronavirus. So it's, everything about it is absolutely new. And there is, and there is something called, you know, asymptomatic. So 80% of the people have it, but they don't know. And, uh, but they would end up spending it. So I think the communication has to be effective. We are living in the world right now where media overall, and uh, overall there is an information overload. So how do you stand out as far as your communication is concerned? I think we need to be sympathetic towards the team, colleagues, clients, uh, uh, on the supply side, our partners, I mean, we are learning from them. So we are constantly engaging. Like my branch is one of very important uh, uh, partners of uh, QDES on a tier two, uh, tier three city level. And we do a lot of business with them. Uh, it, we are learning from them. So everyone is taking precaution. And, you know, the key word is that confidence with precaution, how to instigate that in your uh, communication and be and stand out at the same time. Uh, Diksha, I want to come to you with your quick thoughts on this, if you can hear me. Yeah. So um, the same question about, you know, rebooting, coming back, communication as a piece, as a tool to that. How do you see it? What are your views about, you know, communication as an enabler of this rebooting, this comeback? Okay. So as you know, that communication is the key. If we are talking through Zoom or probably any media, that is a very important, the key is communication, right? So I think uh, in this situation, it is important for all of us to understand the air is the medium, but we don't communicate, things will never gonna solve. Because right. whatever is the problem, say for example, today COVID, hai, Kal may be, uh, you know, kuch cheese problematic ho sakte. Just so we talk about global warming, we talk about 16 other uh, US nation more, most um, basic challenges, right? Mm -hmm. So we have to pick one. We have to evangelize people what to do, what not to do, not only COVID in most of the scenarios, right? Maybe earthquake hota hai, aapka, SOS challenges hota hai, aapka. most of the, uh, there are a lot of challenges, right? So I think uh, communication should be a great enabler and the parameter of communication is first digitizing the mode that means you have to digitize it if i want to reach to you the medium is the uh, this tool which is zoom right and for that matter we must be using like a lot of other medias so i think first is like digitizing the complete modus modus operandi digitizing dig digitizing that I'm sorry, I'm just speaking a lot from the morning. <laughs> so digitizing that. And then the second aspect of the complete thing is making it a logic statement. That means it should not be like 
मेरे पास कोई मैसेज आए आई फॉरवर्ड इट टू देम यू शुड हैव दैट लॉजिक यू शुड हैव दैट ग्रैटिट्यूड यू शुड हैव दैट सेंस इन यू एंड देन फॉरवर्ड एंड मेक देम अंडरस्टैंड दिस इज द राइट बात सेकंड व्हिच इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन दिस कंप्लीट जर्नी इज दैट वी शुड अंडरस्टैंड जो आपका एसओपीस होता है स्टैंडर्ड स्टैंडर्ड ऑपरेटिंग प्रोसीजर्स दैट शुड बी टेकिंग केयर अब होगा कैसे दैट्स अगेन वेरी वैल्यूएबल क्वेश्चन जैसे वी कंप्लीटली अंडरस्टैंड दैट most of the workers because jo aapke migrants hote hain wahi aapki economy aage badhate hain okay that is important hum log ac mein baithte hain it's very uh, easy for us to stay here and work from home but what about them for them it is important that digitalization should be there and it should be there in their own language agar mujhe english samajh hi nahi aayegi to main kaise usko follow bhi karungi right hum sab log batate hain mask pehniye but mask ke mask pehnne mein gujarati mein bhi hona chahiye aapke bahut alag languages mein bhi hona chahiye aur media hona chahiye sms calls aapka whatsapp whatsapp mein through videos through uh, maybe commun- communication chats or maybe a, uh, creating a community throughout if i talk about myself i have created community throughout the technology space so uh, being a global technology leader it's important to be a community leader and tell them what is the right thing and what is the wrong thing so har cheez mein pen se lekar aap kuch bhi cheez banate hain communication is the right model and with the help of communication we can fight corona so that's the uh, crux of this yes over to you thanks uh, uh, udit i want to bring you here you know you you are the you are the expert in this domain a thought leader in this domain tell me i mean how how what what people have said here how do you see these uh, view points you know what is, what do you can you think about what they have said the role of communication thanks rohel i think uh, what is important right now for me is i'm glad that every brand whoever is sitting on this panel understands the need and the importance of communication as a whole right, right? Uh, and if you remember we were speaking about communication two months back when i was on the panel and we were discussing about what sort of role communication would play and uh, during the pandemic one thing is for sure that communication has taken the center stage because you know if you look at if you look at brands communicating their communication has to go right you can't even though it's a pandemic you can't stop communicating with your stakeholders because at a, any given point of time you have to come back to normal life right you need to have that sort of credibility which is going in the market so that is that is most important and how will you communicate you would you would do that how will you reach your business objective you will do that via communication only right so i think communication would play a very important role now look at uh, one more thing which is important is you know uh, finding um, you know uh, opportunities out of it now look at uh, look at this adversity has teach us so much so many things no one no one no one was a hero here 3 months back now we have understood how things are shaping up why we have understood is because we are communicating with each other on a regular basis normal life we would have had this panel uh, during a conference in uh, you know in an auditorium today there are around 200 people who have joined us you know we are discussing uh, via zoom so this is something which is very important and i think uh, this could have only happened because of communication right uh, second thing is which i want to uh, talk and one of my fellow panelists also talked about is social media right look at where social media has reached today what could have happened to our communication channel 6 years down the line or 5 years down the line we have done it in 3 months we are actually converting leads we are converting businesses and brands are doing it via communicating through social media and from credible sources like you know uh, pr or probably publications and newspapers and uh, this could have only happened because of strong communication teams and strong uh, consultancies right Uh, so i'm glad that uh, you know as a firm or as 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 a professional we could play a role here and uh, i think uh, uh, communication uh, is very very important and everybody understands that way right uh, i want to start the next question with you paras uh, you know uh, what has happened in those 70 days is also that uh, you know con- customers you know they have also gone a certain attitude shift they have they are also looking at offerings you know in a certain way one is there a, any perceptible perceptible shift in the way they see the uh, you know services now than it was earlier and how are you trying to adjust uh, to this new expectation that they have sure uh, you know we in last 3 to 4 years we've been uh, talking a lot about shared economy in form of airbnb which was on the travel and hospitality side and then you know moving to co working and co living 
I think this pandemic uh, post COVID, there is going to be a strong emergence and acceptability of something called flex economy. Uh, everything is going to be, you know, on demand and flexible. So uh, there is going to be a transformation uh, in and the whole viewpoint towards investing in capex. Uh, any sector or any industry that is going to be a, a big question when the whole economy is recovering or fractured what they do is they they want to attach a lot of aspects especially investments and cost with the business performance so it's not that people will move to flexible offices no commitment offices no capex offices even the business would become flexible so uh, from hiring uh, to uh, office space to vendor management, all would need a on-demand, no rigidity, no long-term commitment. So everything is going to move towards flex, flexible economy. This is one thing, and we internally are preparing for that. Uh, we, you know, one big thing which is going to happen is that a lot of huge enterprises they used to have, you know, hundred thousand square feet or maybe more than that as a head office. Now the whole concept of head office will become like a, you know, a strategic corporate office where they will have a data sensitive or a senior leadership team staying there. And that would become like a hub or the vault. And it would be supported by multiple spokes that could be in form of, you know, a multi-city or a multi-micro market kind of, a, you know, remote offices, satellite offices. And then the last leg towards, you know, working from home. Uh, working from home has established itself as a, a phenomena and, there are certain industries and sectors who have embraced it very well. Uh, yes, work from home works, provided your you know work is very tangible in nature, which you can monitor and track. But overall, the you know work from home overall compromises on productivity and tracking. So yeah, so we should be prepared that there would be certain portions, certain percentages uh, in a lot of sectors uh, towards work from home and remote working and office space head office getting smaller. This is from the standpoint uh, where we are. Right, right. Uh, Vikash, uh, same question yeah. to you. Uh, tell me, is this shift in consumer expectations uh, a permanent thing that's going to stay? Are you realigning your uh, offerings to that? You know, How are you yeah. looking at uh, a quick uh, kind of adjustment to this new reality? Definitely right. So this is a very good question, very key question, I would say. So uh, frankly, the first part of the question is whether the consumer behavior is changing or not. So definitely it is changing and it, it is changing every day. So, you, you know, yesterday, if you had uh, talked to somebody and asked about the requirement, the requirement was something else. Today, again, you go to the same client and ask about the requirement, this is something else. Uh, prim primarily, since we are into interior design and building commercial spaces, I am frankly being fortunate to, to you know, uh, get in touch with a lot of founders and a lot of enterprises in, in last uh, 10 to 15 days. So the basic tenets of design is going to be changed as far as the office space is concerned. You know, uh, the center will uh, now be the hygiene and sanitization. You know, any office space, any commercial space will have to maintain certain level, certain uh, level of hygiene. Uh, sanitization needs to be more and more frequently. And things like that will keep on happening, right? The second second thing, which uh, personally I've I've uh, observed is a is a lot lot shift, is that you know 10 to uh, 12 years back, the office design in terms of trend has been changing to a, a very open office concept, right? So cubicle were changing, uh, transforming into uh, linear workstations and things like that. Now we will take a ba step back, probably you know all the offices will shift to cubicles, linear workstations and things like that will will. Uh, get rid of the question for uh, you know for, for a matter of time, at least uh, for, for the for a couple of fiscal years uh, we could say definitely. So yeah, uh, behavior is changing, consumer is changing, demand is changing, and we have taken uh, several steps to you know uh, to to uh, come to the conclusion where you can uh, provide some of the products which are very relevant to the current design scheme. Right. So I just also I just want to add this bit to it. Um, how important? So how do you? readjust to this shift and stay profitable at the same time yeah yeah well, that's yeah. again yeah yeah so where does the role of uh, you know the right pr i mean does the role of a right pr come here definitely definitely so as as we already discussed the communication is very very important at this point in time right sending the right client uh, right right kind of expectations sending the right kind of you know words and messages to the people is very very important 
uh, again pertaining to the same question we recently launched a different vertical and the vertical is called reboot spaces as the name suggests that you know whenever you want to restart working from your office obviously you have to take care of certain things as i said that hygiene uh, would change uh, you know the doors will not remain the same doors push and pull doors this will change to a sliding sort of door sliding partition sort of thing right the biometric system will not be the same right now we are we have been using finger based biometric system but now this has to be a face recognition uh, recognition system or palm recognition system something like that so that is the reason we have launched this space this new vertical you know to make uh, enterprises equipped with the new new change and that is how the pr and the, and the agency is taking a lot of uh, uh, playing a lot of role because the communication has been really faster we have been reaching to a lot of enterprise in a very short span of time and that's the that's the boon of having a, a good pr agency in place that part right diksha i want to come to you first and then i go to sam and nitin as well um tell me uh, this shift is there i mean everybody is agreeing that the demands are different than pre and pre covid and now the time to unlock one uh tell me how important role does uh, communication part again play here you know percepting you know and staying profitable uh, having the right pr i want to understand from you how important has now uh, this fact become for you has it become uh, more important than pre covid how is it like for you okay for for us uh because our journey was since 2017 only pre covid only our journey was contactless and our whole uh, mission was to go contactless throughout the globe hum log ka ye mission hi tha 2017 se covid ke pehle ki hum log ko contactless har jagah contactless karna and one thing i would like to add only software cannot help in achieving that i meant to say software can do it but only software cannot do it in in people when they talk about face recognition face recognition doesn't have a legal aspect in terms of when we talk about data aspect and ethical security and ethical hacking aspect right because being an ethical hacker you can face and crack them and 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 then if you go to supreme court there is no legal aspect when you talk about thumb or we talk about face it's very easy to do that and as per person when you talk about uh, our company our company whole motive is to uh, get contactless everywhere matlab hum एक सर्किट क्रिएट किया है जिस सर्किट एक तो पहले वो इकोनॉमिकल है भारत में निर्मित है भारत में बना हुआ है और वो छोटा सर्किट आप कहीं भी लगा सकते हैं एलिवेटर बस यू नो लिफ्ट एक्सेस कंट्रोल एनीवेयर व्हाट दैट हेल्प यू वन सर्किट विल हेल्प यू टू गो एवरीवेयर एंड मेक कंट्रैक्टर्स जर्नी पॉसिबल एट दिस पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम जैसे आपने बात की मिस्टर रोहेल सर जैसे यू सेड दैट कम्युनिकेशन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बट कम्युनिकेशन इज ओनली पॉसिबल नॉट विद द सॉफ्टवेयर बट अ लिसनर साइड हैज टू अ हार्डवेयर दैट मींस इफ वी कम्युनिकेटिंग यूजिंग दिस फोन फोन भी एक हार्डवेयर है और फिर मैं उस पर एप डालती हूँ फिर मैं कम्युनिकेट कर पा रही हूँ तो कम्युनिकेशन के लिए सिर्फ और सिर्फ सॉफ्टवेयर आपका लाइबल नहीं है उसके टॉप पे एक हार्डवेयर होना बहुत जरूरी है जिसका मतलब है अगर आप जैसे विकास जी ने बोला he uh, we are planning lot of things and going contact us which is really good and he i really appreciate his points but here we should consider this as well ki agar hum baat karte hain contact us jana to kya hum dobara china ya dobara videshi company ke paas jayenge give me hardware no that's not the game so we what we have created 2017 mein hi ki atmanirbhar bharat ko एक ऐसा भारत बनाना है जिसमें सॉफ्टवेयर में हम खिलाड़ी हैं पर हार्डवेयर में भी खिलाड़ी बनना है और बन रहे हैं द ओनली चैलेंज इज दिस इज द सॉफ्टवेयर दिस इज द हार्डवेयर दे हैव टू कम्युनिकेट एंड व्हेन दिस इज डन वी आर द वर्ल्ड बेस्ट कंट्री एंड वी आर द सो पावरफुल कंट्री जो लोग तारीफ करे सो आई थिंक दैट्स दैट समराइजेस योर कम्युनिकेशन एस्पेक्ट एज़ फर द प्रोडक्ट्स कंसर्न नितिन टेल मी द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ राइट पीआर इन दिस सिचुएशन ओके सो या so actually uh, uh, at my branch we truly are living the philip cotless definition of marketing which is the science and art of exploring creating and delivering value to satisfy the needs of a target audience and create a profit but our profit is not the revenue which we make from the clients only per se but it is the hope which we are giving to our clients each day the hope to start your day with a safe happiness at your workplace a safe happiness at my branch and communication really helped us to deliver this message loud and clear to my clients and i would definitely say that our business model has its root in partnering with our clients 
so we never saw a short term route we never took a short term route with our clients when we shared the revenues with them we shared profits with them we definitely shared losses with them because we went back to our drawing board and we reinvented ourselves in a way that as diksha said that this is the time when uh, we need to bring the communication the power of communication and digitization to uh, make it a very robust model of delivery for the clients so as i said that we have reinvented ourselves with our clients ye clients hain jinhone my branch ko aaj evolve kiya hai aur aaj us evolution ke sath we are the only organization in india after regus or any other multinational who are just with 14 cities coverage we are already there in 30 cities and counting 100 by next year and our plan is very simple that we are a your local sales office but we will offer you a complete package of a smart office solution we are a shared space we are your dedicated dedicated space we will bring lead management system to you we will bring packaged analytical model to you we will bring precision marketer to you we will bring intent management to you we will bring knowledge hub to you where we will share the best practices and optimal strategies across our multiple clients and will create a cross learning platform if today flipkart tells that i am having this problem at my ranchi my jamshedpur location we will cross share the success stories of a bangalore or probably from a calcutta or a noida branch that see how we the we and clients together have worked over this communication aspect and make the make our business uh, more digital and not only we are your infra and ancillary support not only your local sales office support but you, you can rest on us you can trust on us for complete business delivery so as i told you that we are working on your local sales office smart office your happy office all is happening because communication is the core is at the core is the epicenter of having of, of facilitating us to deliver this value to our clients right asan uh, uh, i want to understand your thoughts here uh, from the expectations you know and the product offerings that you are trying to uh, offer you know to match those expectations can you tell me how has it changed before covid until now and how are you matching to those new expectations Sorry, audio is on mute. I wasn't speaking either, so nothing missed. Uh, well, how have the expectation changed? See, um, as you know, we sell products to the real estate for automating managing of communities and you know apartment complexes, as well as to some extent commercial complexes. uh the expectations have changed that more and more uh buyers are looking for essential product they are like i do not want to spend much on software because i do not have visibility into how my budgets are going to be where i would need to allocate my costs more deeply and things like that so we have taken cognizance of that uh, uh need where people do want software but they probably want just the minimal right mm -hmm. so what we are finding more and more customers do not have the time to go through a whole elaborate demo of what you're offering and all they expect you to know that the boat they are in and tell them that look this is the minimal that you can get started and get a lot of value let's leave the rest for discussions later right so uh, we've been able to carve out a package called adda essential package which we are actually offering free for every apartment complex residential layout which just has the minimal which is the official communication channel where the rwa can communicate to all the residents uh, it has the discover platform where they can find all the local vendors who are doing those essential deliveries and services and all that they can find emergency numbers like the local hospital ambulance numbers etc Uh, so all these things in one place, but it does not have our higher features like billing, accounting, help desk, asset management, and all that stuff, right? So this is one of the things that we have done to meet the expectations and the realities in this uh, changed market. Uh, Udit, I have to get your communication perspective. That how have you seen the shift happening? Uh, the expectation shift that has taken. Yeah, yeah, Rohil. Um, so uh, yes. 
there there is a definite shift in the consumer behavior if you look at uh, brands they understand what our consumer looking at so for example incubisens started uh, she uh, diksha was telling us that she started to, in 2017 she knew where uh, the the industry was moving right similarly adda has shifted uh, the uh, it to essentials right and for more than uh, you know anybody else you look at the e-commerce websites today right look at flipkarts of the world look at snapdeal of the world they are delivering essentials now which they could they uh, and they are focusing big on that why are they focusing big is because they understand there is a shift of cons- customers behavior consumer behavior and that's why they are doing that right so for that also they they have again rooted in communication and uh, that's what has happened now look at uh, the customer why why going to consumer change uh, shift you know look at our internal shifts which we have done in an organization as a whole right we are working from home today that's that's again a shift as a as 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 a target audience internal target audience right so i think overall if you look at the entire industry a lot have changed and uh, you know people are intelligent and we all are intelligent to uh, you know uh, come to a, with a solution and we all have done that and uh, brands have become really i have seen brands becoming more matured now uh, over the past 3 months uh, wherein they they know what they want to communicate they know that okay these are the three things which they want to communicate in the next 3 months you know uh, i work as as a firm we work with a lot of startups in smes while when we when we started working with them we used to educate the brands that okay you know you will have to do these these things and you know now the brands know that okay guys we want to achieve these two targets right because they know that customers are not looking for everything customers and consumers are looking for these two odd things during this pandemic time and and this will be same for the next one or two years till the time we don't go back to normal right so i think uh, very important customer behavior has changed so has brands evolved during this time and i think i see brands and organization keep evolving uh, in the coming times as well uh, paras uh, to you um, so role of technology is being talked about and everybody knows how important it is for that reboot process you know tell me uh, if we talk about rebooting real estate through te- tech technology what are you doing for making workplaces workspaces optimized if you could take us through that so um, if i have to be specific to what qdes is uh, up to so we have recently created a a platform uh, which is on basically a concierge it's a communication concierge uh, for occupants and the workspace uh, wherein uh, from issues to uh visitor management to you know uh, room booking and then finally you know overall community communication so you know till now it was very human driven uh you you have a center head or a admin in a workspace or community manager in a co-working space uh they used to run around try to have you know uh you know manage the entire blue collar staff in terms of housekeeping security now you know with this uh, it's called eva uh, with this you don't really need to have you know one community manager for 100 people the same community manager can uh, manage three centers or four centers the entire communication is real time the entire issue management is real time and you notify for example uh, you have to take certain precaution while entering a particular building you need to fill up a form so everything can be automated uh, to the platform this is what we are doing and i see a lot of technology adoption uh, uh, across real estate at the moment uh, it could be as informal as whatsapp but a lot of people are using like the society where i live in they use uh, something called society connect uh which is for communication between the rwa or the facility so, management so so your net connection is can you hear me now yeah we can hear you so i am saying every uh, you know whether it's residential or commercial people are adopting to technology and this is a great time to adopt technology uh, technology can bring in efficiency uh, technology can bring in the entire process uh, real time so i was giving an example of where i live it's a society in gurgaon and uh, they use something called society connect which is a communication tool uh, from rwa and facility management to the residents uh, it includes all the aspects from uh, you know paying for your electricity meters to uh, notification and circulars on covid and precautions uh, 
so i think it is making the whole uh, living experience little seamless a um, bit more communicative and on the commercial side uh, us and you know there are other platforms also uh, which talk of bringing in efficiency which and also easing out uh, the pressure uh, which community manager or the admin manager used to have uh, i want to come to you vikash uh, uh, so we are in a socially distant zero touch world you know yeah and te- tech is where we all connect you know where where right. you know it's helping us tide through this phase tell me how are you using uh, tech to reboot uh, what is the, the case study from your side definitely so ruel uh, before i talk about the uh, our brand using technology this part i would slightly take you know a liberty of uh, i'll take the liberty of taking a couple of minutes and you know talk Absolutely. about technology more the best thing which has come out of this situation the whole scenario is that we have started you know uh, looking at technology as the front facing thing right the uh, e-commerce companies a lot of tech startups have been pumping in a lot of whole amount of money just to make people adopt to the technology and that shift has been very exponentially exponentially fast now right we would have you uh, would actually observe that things have been you know people have been uh, placing orders online buying everything is happening online ed tech has has taken a lot of shape and, and things like that right now coming to our part so uh, you know uh, if you talk about commercial real estate it, it has three to four different pillars the first thing is the discovery part you know how do you actually go and write the kind of uh, right kind of property for yourself that's the discovery part the second part is once you have the discovery done that the next thing this takes place is transaction right the property closer and everything things like that the thung the third part would be where we actually come into the picture is slightly about design and build that how you design your space and sort of you know you do the you get the contracting done, done in that part and the fourth bit uh, would be property management and anything which enables you to to manage the property in that sense right so everywhere there have been a lot of startup working towards te- using technology and you know giving a better consumer experience and things like that but now is the time i think you know people will take a shift and definitely look at the technology as a front facing as a set and this will change the entire game if you are not digital your, your product or services is not uh, you know properly digitized when it comes to right. commercial real estate it's, it's actually very difficult to sell now you know so uh, coming to my personal brand experience so we have been using virtual reality as a tool as a very powerful tool to uh, you know to to engage with customers and uh, helping them uh, with, with interior design and build part i'm sure this technology is uh, now now uh, act as a boon for us as a brand nitin your quick thoughts on this so uh, as i already uh, uh, said that <clears throat> we uh, do have proactively worked to manage the social distancing aspect within our delivery model we have always been a covid compliant organization and have the provision to provide extended safety space hygiene desk space within the private work space layer so we very few people uh, uh, knows that it's not about our service delivery to the clients very few people know that my branch only is uh, into the services but my branch has a very strong arm called operations called property scouting we do a very deep dive study on a property layout to ensure all compliant guidelines very few people know that we have a such an exhaustive list of compliances which we Uh, undertake and we do our due diligence to ensure all these uh, uh, forthcoming issues to be addressed we have stationed our branch head our branch manager at each branch to ensure the safety the hygiene the sanitation and we never leave we never outsource such critical operations to anybody moreover our website is not an information website our website is an action website it is always showing the real time updates on very important and critical aspect of fumigation sanitation branches updates or they are getting up and what kind of activity we are undertaking that kind of complete visibility to the clients and that is how we have sustained in in the long term and fruitful relationship with our clients that trust and that transparency which we have created uh, the uh, Uh, this is this is like the legacy uh, which we have created uh, and inherited from narayan bhargava group which is in the dna of narayan bhargava group perfect so now i want to come to you uh, your um, uh, 
uh, space is a little different, you know. So the question for you is, uh, how are you trying to create, you know, a family oriented, you know, friend, family friendly, uh, seamless experiences through technology to monitor, you know, the entire uh, space, for example, that, that you have, that you manage. How are you using technology in your case? So first off, I would like to share an interesting trend we are observing, you know, can be useful to my uh, peers here. Uh, quite a few communities are using their common space, you know, they are changing their common space like party hall and all that to co-working space, right? So I know of one such community who is a customer, TVS, uh, so TVH property. In Yes, Rohel? Uh, we are losing, sorry, we are losing the we are losing the connection. Oh, I'm sorry. I think, so we can, we yeah. can hear that. Okay, okay, perfect, okay. perfect, perfect. perfect. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so that's something interesting we are seeing. Uh, actually, there are quite a few builders who have created the residential campus in such a way that uh, there is facility of, uh, you know, working space within the complex itself. Like if you look at Brigade Metropolis and Bangalore, Shantani Kedan, of course, is a whole uh, integrated uh, construction. Uh, this is something I think we should watch keenly where uh, work-life balance would mean that having your home close to the office or vice versa right and uh, uh, this offers you know we all love to be close to home if we you know are looking after children or you know elderly people and all that uh, but then we also need change of space cabin fever right so work from home in future may not necessarily mean that you are working out of your bedroom or living room on an extra study or office room right it could mean actually a dedicated space uh, especially in the context of a uh, community living where you can actually mark out a space like you mark out a gym. You do not all, each of us do not buy a treadmill in our house when we have a community gym, right? So business centers, which is quite uh, um, uh, popular in uh, apartment complexes in Dubai, could also become part of future construction and residential communities, you know, where uh, those of you who are experts in setting up the interiors of these office spaces it's quite possible that, you know, it would be done in much smaller scale, but in more, uh, uh, you know, regular communities. So that's something that we have noted. Other than honestly speaking, uh, our product as such does not have much to do uh, with this, uh, you know, the workspace related thing, the work from home related thing. Uh, apart from the fact that in future, if indeed these kind of business centers come up, it would involve booking by the resident, you know, whoever wants to take space there and all that stuff, probably they will pay the association or the builder who's going to spend on the capex of setting it up and all that stuff. So that is where our product will come in and making sure those billing and collection and renting and all that stuff is happening fine. That's something that I'd like to share. Make sure that you have quick thoughts about very, That's yes, uh, very good. I just wanted to add, uh, Sohail, what she said. Uh, I think it's a brilliant point. Uh, you know, that's what we have also noticed and this is going to be the shift. Uh, when people say work from home, uh, it may not be work from home. It basically means work from anywhere. Now, anywhere could be, you know, a productive remote working environment. It could be a neighborhood co-working space or it could be within the society uh, converting some part of the clubhouse into, uh, you know, kind of a mini workspace. Uh, but, you know, work from home is right now the norm because it has been imposed. But going forward, if the corporates, enterprises, they allow a certain part of the team to work from anywhere, uh, which and at the same time not compromise on productivity and, uh, you know, the overall monitoring of the work. I think going forward, uh, there would be 10 to 15 percent uh, every company can experiment with productive remote working. And as a platform, this is what we've seen that uh, some corporates have started booking five, five desks in multiple um, localities and micro markets on our platform where uh, you don't have to pay a hefty security deposit, long term agreement or lock in period. You just pay as you go. Either you pay on a, a day basis for a hot desk or you pay on a monthly basis. Diksha, your, your thoughts on this, the role of tech in rebooting and, you know, bringing back the business? Uh, yeah, sure. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's a very good question. By the way, uh, as every uh, very esteemed panelist, Ms. Uh, San and Paris, Mr. Paris has uh, already mentioned about 
uh, remote working and how we can benefit out of it. But we should also look into people who are working on the manufacturing area because unke liye remote jaisa kuch nahi hai. Unke liye agar hum laptop pe kam karte hain, but for manufacturing segment they have to go there. They have to physically present there to get uh, production done. So in order to get those segments correct. We need to make sure uh, key contactless. Unke liye kaise kam kare? So for me, if Rohan, you ask me, because me uh, cater all the software industry. We have in-house software, we have in-house hardware, and we have completely made in Bharat infrastructure as far as the hardware is concerned, the PCB and the assembly and everything in India in Manasar uh, Gurgaon. So for us, it is very important to have that technology bend, not in terms of like working remotely, but also working in production segment with taking consideration of social uh, social distancing and. And, uh, you know, wearing mask, wearing those SOPs, and you don't have to peek there. Is it like so? There are a lot of SOPs that we have to take care, and we should also consider that 75% of actual labor force is working in the manufacturing segment. So we cannot uh, just deny that only laptop they do, only phone they do, and they can work this way. Technology for them. is something that हमारे भारत को वो लोग ज़्यादा चलाते हैं, which is श्रमिक. श्रमिक अगर छोड़ के चले गए तो भारत का कुछ भी नहीं चलेगा विच वी ऑलरेडी नो सो दिस इज इम्पोर्टेंट कि हम लोग श्रमिक को भी टेक्नोलॉजी इनेबल बनाए आत्मनिर्भर बनाए कैसे बनाए उसमें दो चीजें हैं पहला सबसे पहले आप मेरे को बहुत सारे मेरे क्लाइंट्स बोलते बिकॉज वी हैव वॉश पैन इंडिया वी हैव लॉर्ड ऑफ कस्टमर्स पैन इंडिया वी सर्विंग दैम बट हियर वॉट हैपन दट दे हैव अ मोनोपली कि मेरे पास ऐसा भी फोन नहीं है आई डोंट हैव एंड्रॉइड और प्रॉब्लम आई डोंट हैव एपल फोन बट दैट्स अ सर्टन रिस्ट्रिक्शन बट क्या हम दो साल बाद नहीं देंगे so we have to think very very precise that if we talk about communication if we talk about making us ac mein baith ke kaam karna is very acha i mean it's very good that we are sitting here we have a laptop we have a phone we can call but let's think about those people because agar wo log upar nahi badhenge agar wo saksham nahi honge to hamari business bhi chalega nahi so we need to make them enable first we need to give them some power like you can use wrist band some bands which can enable them to create a heat map on your dashboard say for example uh, nitin ji sitting uh, there right over apne dashboard pe hum sab ka address dekh payenge ki hum log kahan pe hain kaise hain and that terms that terms we enable us as like okay we are working as a managers hum to enable hain but hum unhe enable kaise kare jab wo enable ho jayenge we everybody is enable and things running in a very good way which uh, you said in a very स्ट्रेट वे दैट कम्युनिकेशन दिस टाइम अगर हम ये अचीव करते हैं तब हम कम्युनिकेशन को बहुत स्ट्रॉन्ग कर पाएंगे तो हमें घर में बैठने की जरूरत नहीं है वी कैन एक्चुअली वर्क फ्रॉम एनी वेयर सो दैट्स द टेक एज फॉर एज द प्रोडक्ट्स एंड कम्युनिकेशन सेंस पारस टू यू कैन यू हियर मी सो व्हाई व्हाई वी आर गोइंग थ्रू दिस टफ चैलेंजिंग फेज ऑफ सोशल डिस्टेंसिंग नॉट गोइंग आउट यू नो सो अनलॉक वन इज देयर how do you in such a situation you know how how can uh, you optimize you know the workspace uh, what are you doing to make sure that the space that you have is put to the right use it delivers the value that you intend it to deliver so uh, for everybody's uh, clarity i mean we are a transactional marketplace we don't own and operate any particular workspace uh, we are a you know technology platform where people discover workspaces and these workspaces are you know across 52 cities in india uh what how they are optimizing right now is that you know they are also learning i mean one thing which we need all to push is through communication is a confidence in the market and confidence in the fact that you can go to office right now the office turnout ratio you know is very low a uh, lot of workspaces are in the range of you know 2% to uh, you know 10% uh, attendance as far as physical attendance is concerned in the office i think as the unlock one has happened i mean we have seen in gurgaon people are at the 2 to 4% i think in next 15 days are important we need to take lot of precautions and people uh, should flock to offices now and that's how we'll get uh, normal and my co panelist when she mentioned about the real india we uh, so all the technology all the remote working is for the other side of the gdp not it doesn't pertain to agriculture and manufacturing uh, they have to go to factories they are the heroes uh, they have to manufacture and we have to overall enhance the consumption uh, in terms of optimization which providers are doing they are maintaining uh, you know uh, social distancing there is no need to change the layout like i said if everyone is in affected in terms of business and cash flows 
does doesn't make a sense to uh, that's what we've been advising providers uh, space providers that doesn't make uh, sense to redesign the whole thing because this is a temporary phenomena at the moment uh, you know whether it we have second wave third wave it will continue for six months or three years it's yet to be evaluated there is no point in putting capex right now uh, for another three months wait and watch uh, just convert the whole space as per social distancing and government guidelines. Uh, so keep a gap between two occupants. So right now, every center overall by maintaining the gap would be at a 50% occupancy. And uh, a lot of companies, and it doesn't uh, pertain to only co-working, uh, uh, you know, workspace provider or, uh, you know, any space provider. It is for the company, the occupants also. They also need to maintain 50% kind of uh, attendance. So a lot of people are working in uh, roasters. Uh, so at any given point in time for the next two, three months, I don't see uh, any space having more than 50% occupant. Second thing, what they're doing is avoiding the meeting, uh, you know, the meeting room usage. Uh, they are converting the meeting rooms into workspaces so that they have extra amount of seats. Again, keeping a gap of one desk. So I think at a at a ground level, without putting in capex, without putting in too much of thought, the best thing forward would be just maintain the social gaps within the office space. Brilliant. I want to bring in Mr. Patak here. He has a few questions, and we have another 15 minutes to go. Mr. Patak, over. Sir, so you are mute. It's on mute here. Thanks, Rohil. Uh, sorry. So I just want to ask one generic question, and I know there are a few entrepreneurs here. Uh, I can see three, four entrepreneurs. And uh, I think um, my question to you is, all of you, you know, and if you could just give one, one line or two, two lines on this, because we have got uh, time issues. So the question is, how are you actually, uh, when, you, when you talk about, you know, working from home, so and uh, you know yes there is there there are op uh, options for that for for us right now but do you think that, that in the coming times it's going to be same for the you know once everything goes back to normal do you think the most of our uh, companies would work from home and will productivity would be same as as it is right now because I to be very honest what I feel is that right now yes people are working more because they understand there is a problem there is. We are in this adversity, but coming back is also important. Mental health plays a very, very important role here. So do you think that, you know, in the coming times, it's going to remain same? Uh, this is for, uh, you know, as, as entrepreneurs, if you could answer or as leaders of different verticals, you guys could answer them. Anybody can take it. Probably, uh, you know, Dan I can, can take it. Yeah, or Paris can take it. Anyone. I can uh, try a shot here. Uh, actually, yeah. these uh, you know two two and a half months have been very important exercise for us because we've been in a transaction business where people discover office, they visit, and then they close and you know uh, experience the office space. Now with this whole work from home, uh, we really did a very very deep study. In fact, a little scientific one, and we came up with something called you know PA, which is a productivity quotient. Uh, and it productivity quotient is a function of a lot of factors. One is the infrastructure and environment. Second, second is your 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 line of uh, you know work uh, as a as a person. I might be in a tech or a product team, or I might be in a sales. It's function of that as well. It is function of you know the right temperature, right furniture, and then most importantly, the sense of belongingness, the love and energy. Uh, which you can't have in office uh, at home. I mean, the sense of belongingness or the sense of one purpose or a one goal, uh, a love for the company and colleagues, that is not possible. It is very cold when you, even if on Zoom, when you chat as a team level, it is not there. And finally, there is something which everyone misses uh, evaluating the productivity is something called Hawthorne effect. Now, Hawthorne effect is something which, you know, when you're in an office, you have that, you know, little feeling that someone is watching you or you've been observed that enhances your, you know, uh, you know, work and you are part of that routine and work from home. All these factors have been slightly compromised, a little abused. So in the long run, work from home is not the normal working remote working in a productive environment can happen. Uh, but yeah, there could be certain percentages of team like tech uh, product or a very template based uh, teams. They can work from home. This is my take but not overall. Yeah. Okay. So I think I agree, Paras. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, please go ahead, Nitin. 
Okay, I I I I very much agree uh, agree to Paras because uh, uh, definitely it's about the ecosystem, the tangibility factor, the touch and feel of your office walls, the furniture, the chair, the background, uh, that ecosystem. So it's not about working from home. It's about working in a more safe private zone. Uh, where you can be productive. Uh, obviously, your focus, your concentration, your energy gets diluted, and that is a very psychological uh, psychological factor which will play a great role. And I think Harvard and Stanford have already started doing a lot of research on it, and they started publishing that what kind of a long term impact on the business is going to come from this work from home culture. So when it was a very disastrous situation, it was fine. But now we near really need to come out of it. And India has always shown the way to the world. So these three C's, Corona, COVID, or Cyclone, even Cyclone, the three C's cannot defeat India. Because India has a very strong P called passion. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think uh, a lot of positivity, a lot yes. of optimism. That's that's nice. Uh, do you want to come in, Diksha? Do you want to talk about yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was just waiting. Thank you. Thank you so much, Udit. Thank you, Nitin. And thank you for your uh, feedbacks and views on the kind of uh, post-COVID situations. But uh, one thing, like you already mentioned very correctly, post-COVID cannot be the post-normal. I mean, it cannot be the normal way that we were just like this. It's not like that. And everything has pros and cons. That means... If I'm working from home, probably I'm saving my traffic time. I'm saving a lot of time if I'm tra traveling through Delhi to Gurgaon every day, uh, consuming two hours in and out. So I'm saving that hours, right? And a lot of hazards, a lot of traffic. Now, see, like in the COVID situation, it feels nature so good for nature. I mean, nature, mein, so every, each and everything has a benefit and has a pros and cons, like you mentioned very correctly, Nitin Ji. But going ahead, I think in uh, the future, mein, hume, Comparatively, ये देखना है कि आजकल जितने भी लोग जो भी प्रकार के technologies use कर रहे people people understood that technology plays a very important role. But what? I mean, वो technologies आपकी कहाँ से आ रही है? You are giving those money back to those uh, you know uh, people who are not from India, and the Indian GDP is uh, again the same. So if we have to grow Atmanirbhar Bharat, if we have to grow that kind of economy again in the, uh, you know, for India and for Bharat, it is very important to go back and check what you're giving back to the society and back to the business. It's very easy to uh, open a business and say, okay, you, I'm delivering these services. But do you think that money is going back to Shramik, going back to the people and going back to the Indian? Are we creating a lot of jobs? And that's the reason that, uh, what uh, we have identified a big, big gap in the manufacturing segment. And we want to close in future and post-COVID. And our whole goal is to create our own POS machine. Our whole goal is to create refrigerators. Uh, you know, this desh mein bana hua, TV fridge and every all electronics from Bharat. So that one thing, we don't have to give 980 billion crores to China or to uh, other desh, right? And procure some devices. I think this is the time to get a uh, Notion of Atmanirbharta and Atmanirbhar Bharat. Agar Modi ji ne aaj bola hai Atmanirbhar Bharat, wo isle nahi bola ki ham COVID situation hai aur abhi aap paisa lagao. No, it's not that. It's something that it will turn up to make India the next global hit. Agar ham log baat karte hai scientists and lot of people go to you know DRDOs and making sort of innovations, but where are the corporates? Corporates are losing the pace. If we are going everything towards, you know, Videshi company ko hum de denge, chahe wo API ho, software ho, ya kuch bhi ho. You're using those from those companies. We need to understand that agar hume Bharat ko saksham banana hai, to Bharat mein nirmit products or Bharat mein create karna hoga software or hardware both. So that's my take uh, post-COVID. I think things are going to change. Uh, people should have, like Nitin Ji correctly said, that Indians have a desire to that we are together. And with this together, we fight COVID, of course. And post-COVID is a great, great thing for us. And things are really uh, good after that. Yeah. So thank you, Udit Ji. OK. Uh, can I come in between? There are uh, quick, there are, quick questions. There are, few, yeah. there are few questions which, which are coming from people, right? right? So yes, yes. Can ask I, I, I want to come to you, San. Uh, there's a question uh, from Peter. Guys, uh, I just want to request uh, panelists and the organizers and the audience that uh, I have another engagement. So I request for uh, leaving this session. It was a great session. 
and thank you if there any thank you so much if there any any specific questions to us uh, to me or qdes would be happy to take offline thank you so much thank Bye. you so thanks paris thank you uh, there's a question from peter martis uh, to you san uh, he's asking that um, how can uh, you know there's a lot of brand data that that spaces like yours have witnessed you know uh, is there a long haul you are preparing for or do you see it a very short term uh, loss you know how are you seeing it are you prepared for a long haul in this uh i did not get the question so the question is that you know the way the industry is uh, right now you know some people are predicting it may last for some time in in the space for example you are operating it are you prepared for that long haul are you talking about saas products technology yes, software yes, in general yes yes, yes. okay uh, no i do not think that uh, honestly speaking um, uh, in technology and specifically in our space i see more opportunities than uh, setbacks because people are looking at digitization like never before right mm. uh, there are so many and especially when you think about facility management right uh, traditionally it has been a very manpower intensive kind of uh, uh, industry and when you talk about iot companies which which are talking about you know building management system etc they've been finding it very hard to break that and make a mark but i think in the current situation with the uh, reduction in manpower availability even in india so that has been a big problem for india is that labor is so cheap people don't look at automation so quickly right, right. but now that you know the good part of the uh, migrants going back home and i'm sure they'll come back soon but in this window i hope that you know the employers will realize that you cannot depend completely on migrant workers and cheap labor first of all labor should not be cheap forever okay secondly they do need to look at automation so i see a lot more opportunities than the temporary setback that is there currently right right for vikash uh, uh, how important is uh, how important is uh, safety you know and uh, how do you build that trust among uh, your customers about that safety is here you know they don't want to venture out of their homes how do you build that trust around safety yeah that's again a very very important question ruel so first of all you know even if uh, today you want to start your office and start functioning again first of all you have to define the capacity that let's say i want to call 50% or 60% of the people to come to the office that's point number 1 that whether you are prepared or not but the second key question is whether the employees uh, are they feeling safe to come to your workplace or not and that that's you know where the psychological things come to come into the picture and to provide that that sort of you know feeling of security so to say you have to come up with the various solution as i said the first solution is that you know how frequently you are going to sanitize your washroom or your cafeteria area which is you know high risk areas so to say so how how frequently the sanitization is is happening inside the workspace that's point number 1 how you are maintaining the social distancing and 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 you know things like that in case any outbreak happens inside the premises how much are you prepared with the uh, medical facility and things like that so you know most of the companies even if they want to start today functioning and they uh, a lot of them have already started uh, functioning out of the office you have to be ready with a certain sop that these are the uh, you know 10 to 20 points i have to take care of uh, starting right. from the reception the, uh, the person enters into the premise to the you know the last hour when he is he or she is living out of uh, out of the office right, right. uh for for sam there's uh, there's a question for you uh, uh around technology since everyone is currently on work from home is there any kind of family oriented tech which is easing out the process or might build to monitor home once office start working in future i'm sorry i'm not aware of any such okay family oriented tech as such Okay. but uh, working from home you know to just add to the previous question that udit had asked uh, you know avengers may there is a, a statement that asgard is not the place it is the people right uh, see mine is a, a product which can absolutely work from home you know people can work from anywhere because we are a completely 100% online product and deployment no. support everything is online but what we have realized is that office is a place that you know bonds people that anchors people Uh, we have you know dilly dallied with, and we have dabbled with the thought that hey this is great we can work from anywhere right goa shimla wherever you want to work from but then we realized no we just can't give up that office because when people think about work when they think about the company when they think about the team they need a place that you know they think about so that's something 
uh, I thought of putting in in the previous questions. I'm doing it now. Right. Put it to you. Uh, what is your advice to clients who are working in this, uh, you know, these tough times, for example? You know, how do you, uh, what do you have to tell them uh, to maintain that, you know, that hold with their stakeholders? What can they do to enable that constant relationship, constant touch base with their stakeholders? Hello. Yeah. Sorry, I my, I was logged out. Uh, there was some Sorry. internet problem. Okay, yeah. Okay. So what, the what was the question? The question is, uh, what would your advice to people uh, to stay in touch and build that trust, you know, with their stakeholders in these tough times? So, so my only advice right now for everybody is to keep keep breathing. This is the most important time, and we all have to we all have to uh, you know. Uh, keep abreast with what is happening because every day is is a new day for us right we don't have we don't know what's going to unfold but one thing is for sure things will change right and my only advice would be keep communicating whether it is with your internal team whether it is with your external team now you know today it is also important for us to communicate within the team right because they all of us are working from home there is a lot of pressure there are a lot of uh, demands that are coming in from the customer side client side and you know teams you know younger lot try to uh, they don't know what to do exactly so it is important for us as as vertical heads as as in the, you know as as thought leaders to talk to the team and influence them and you know keep keep motivating them so uh, that is again a part of communication so internal communication is very important whether it is your so whether the company is small or whether the company is big right the second is communicate 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 with your stakeholders this is not the time to stop communicating. This is the time to do more communication, right? Because this is the time when the stakeholders look at to you as how brands are behaving right now. So only advice is communicate, communicate, communicate. Perfect. <laughs> we have, uh, I'm so sorry we are out of time and we have a lot of questions. I will try to send it to you through email and maybe get them addressed. I would like to thank all of you for joining us for this wonderful session and look forward to many more. Thanks once again for joining us. Thank you very much. Thank you, David. Thank you, all of you. Thank you, guys. Thanks. Thank you. Appreciate Thank the you. session. Thanks. Bye.